do this super easy, just pretty polished eyeshadow look using just a couple of products, all of which are on sale this month at minnowithmary.com. Hopefully that beeping doesn't keep going on. I don't know where it's coming from, but we're gonna find out. Maybe I'll just like talk to the beat. Talk to the beat. Okay, good, it's done. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> I hope that you're well. I am catching my breath. My birthday was a week ago Friday. It was Cinco de Mayo, Cinco de Mary, the 5th of May, and it was so incredibly fun. Blake, my husband, surprised me and flew in one of my best friends from Chicago, who I haven't seen in years truly surprised me. I mean, I was in my bathrobe when they came in <laughs> and it was just amazing. She was here all weekend. I'm going to be um, utilizing my stick eyeshadow. The stick eyeshadow, by the way, is great for all eyes, particularly if you have hooded eyes, oily eyes. If eyeshadows just kind of like don't stay on your eyelids, I'm telling you, this is going to hold on tight spider monkey for all my twilight friends. I love saying that. Hold on tight spider monkey. But I have hooded eyes. You can see like, you know, the lid of my eyes just gets a little droopy. It's just over age and time. That's what's happened but with some eyeshadows if it's a, a poorly made eyeshadow or just if my eyes are a little bit more oily that day or allergies sometimes eyeshadows while I open my eye it gets stuck in the crease of that hooded eyelid these shadows do not budge my liquid shadows and my stick shadows do not budge whatsoever so um, I wanted to share these with you. I haven't seen the trailer yet. Uh, we're talking about the new Outlander trailer, which I'm so excited about. I'm waiting to see it with Blake. Blake is at work and we're gonna watch it together. Like you know, and hopefully record our, our live reaction to it and everything. So I'm really excited. Thank you so much for the hello, lovely. How are you? So this is the stick eyeshadow in the shade Gleaming. I love this shade. It's just a really nice shimmer shade right here. I'm gonna share with you what you do. All you do is you just take the stick eyeshadow and you draw it on your lower lid. Now you're gonna to wanna to do this one eye at a time because these set really quickly. So I'm gonna go like this and I'm gonna go a little bit above my crease because I do have that hood to my eye. Taking my finger or a brush right at the edge of the shadow just to kind of smudge and blend it out so that there's not a harsh line. And as I said, you can do this with an eyeshadow brush or if you're you're someone like me who wants to put things on quickly, maybe you put a little makeup on when you, when you get into the parking lot at work or wherever you're going. Your fingers are work just fine. Isn't that so pretty? So, so pretty. So it really catches the light. I love it. It holds on super tight. It doesn't get all gunky. And it's just a beautiful, simple, everyday pop. Or maybe if you're someone who likes to put on a little makeup for the weekend, this is perfect. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do is my felt tipped eyeliner. Hi Gloria, good to see you. Thanks so much for popping on. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of eyeliner. You can see it here. I didn't do a wing, I didn't do anything extravagant, but I really wanted to add some volume to the base of my lashes. So what I do is I take this eyeliner, it has kind of like a marker tip, and then I just do little dashes right in my, eye, um, my lash line. So I start from the iris out, and I just connect those lashes and it really helps make the eyeshadow look um, the whole thing look a little bit polished makes the eyes really pop and I'm only gonna bring it in really only up until the the inner white area of that eye so yes yeah, so we have my girlfriend in and we had lunch with my dad and my stepmom on my birthday and then on the 6th of May on Saturday she was able to come with me actually to my son's soccer game and she's my son's godmother. So, you know, it's it's tough having close friends or family members further away because they don't get to be part of like the everyday activities that your family gets to do. So she got to come with us to the soccer game and then that night we had a Kentucky Derby party and I love the Kentucky Derby. I think I honestly love it just because it's around my birthday, just like I love tacos. Tacos are my favorite food, and I truly believe it's because it's my birthday, a Cinco de Mayo. My parents used to bring me to a Mexican restaurant every birthday of mine around like three o'clock, so like before the restaurants got super busy with the post, um, you know, post crowd post-work crowd so they bring us like right after school and there'd be specials there'd be decorations there'd be music and I thought it was all for me I thought that the restaurants were decorated for me I thought that there were flags and banners and like happy people and no those happy people probably just came early for margaritas and <laughs> they were happy yes but they weren't necessarily happy because little Mary Mary Earl not Mary Larson but little Mary Earl was having a birthday party back then 
Oh, I almost forgot something. I saw this cool trick with this felt tipped marker at Minute with Mary. Um, you can grab it. Once again, two items, you get them 15% off. Three or more items, it's 20% off. I saw someone use it to tight line and it so far has been working pretty well for me. I never use a marker or like a kind of paintbrush dip and draw underneath as a waterline as that just gets super sloppy. But for some reason, this one is like magical and it's not transferring and it's not making a big mess. So the skin in between your lashes and your eyeball is called your waterline. And when you take either a pencil or this magic like marker that I was like trying it out, I'm like, oh my gosh, it actually works. If you put the black here, you can really get in that lash line and it just makes your lashes look so much um, more polished and thicker and voluminous without having to have like a big giant eyeliner all over the place. So this one, I'm telling you, it's a game changer for me. I'm very, very excited about that. I forgot to curl my lashes. <gasps> I may have to touch up my eyeliner because I'm going to go for it. You normally want to curl your lashes before you do your eyeliner so that that way your eyeliner won't get all over your eyelash curler, but I'm gonna do a big no-no. Um, so yeah, so the Kentucky Derby, I just think it's fun. I think it's fun, I love that it's short, I love that people get dressed up, I love that there's themed food, and I always had this dream of like, when I'm older and I have kids, I wanna have a family-friendly Kentucky Derby party. So in my younger years, I would get together with my friends and we'd have a nice early dinner, and wherever we'd go, we'd ask the restaurant to put the derby on. I actually don't think I have to touch it up. Woohoo! Good job, Mary, good job. Um, and we'd have the Kentucky Derby on and we'd all have like these little hats of fascinators and everything. And I live in Rhode Island, so the Kentucky Derby is not a big thing here. It's just not. Like a lot of people don't even know what it is, when it is, any of those kind of things. So sometimes when, I, when I'd go to these restaurants, they'd be like, what do you wanna see, lady? <laughs> What is this Kentucky Bird Derby that you're speaking of? But I just think it's fun. I think it's fun. Um, so in the past, we've also had some Kentucky Derby parties here at my house and people have gotten dressed up and we've done this whole like, let's bet and let's find out who's the winner and all this kind of stuff. Super, super fun. This, however, was our first attempt at doing a family-friendly Kentucky Derby party. Love it. My mom always had derby parties. This year I made a derby pie. What was in it? I didn't make a derby pie. Uh, we kind of, we kind of, uh, made a little hybrid out of the food for this um, because since the day before was Cinco de Mayo, we were going through all the food and because it was family friendly, I was thinking about it, I'm like, I don't think little kids, because my kids are the oldest. I have a couple of friends whose kids are a lit, like barely older, like maybe one year older um, that live nearby. But aside from that, most of my friends, their kids are younger and not even just like a year younger, like several years younger. My kids are eight and 10. So as you we were planning these plans for the party, I was telling Blake, I'm like, Blake, we can't just have like Kentucky Derby, like fancy sandwiches and all these neat little things because yeah, that might be fun for us as adults, but we're gonna have a bajillion little kids running around who want basic food and like we can buy a bunch of those peanut butter and jelly on crustables but you know is there something else that we can do and Blake had this idea he's like let's have a taco bar let's have a taco bar so we can have some Kentucky Derby themed appetizers and desserts and all that other kind of stuff but when it comes to people eating because the Derby is usually around 6 30 p.m. so my party was four to eight which is like prime time dinner, you know, hungry kids, hungry people. I was like, we're gonna have to feed them something pretty substantial. And like, what kid doesn't like a soft taco, right? Or a quesadilla at least. So that's what I did. I made a ton of, of ground meat uh, for, for tacos. And I had some bean options for our vegetarian friends. And then we had all the little fixings and it was just so easy. You know, you can buy pre-shredded lettuce, you can buy pre-shredded trees. You know, so all this prep that I was super nervous about making fancy Kentucky Derby themed, more like dinner foods, I didn't have to do, but we did do a really cute, um, I did like a charcuterie board and then I did a bunch of veggies with dip and I'd seen this thing on Pinterest about how you could make the dip and the veggies in rows. So it was almost like racing lanes. And then you get horse crackers 
and you put those in the rain in the different lanes and then you get numbered candles and you put those in the lanes so it looks like you know in paddock one is this horse the peppers and the paddock two it's the carrots with that horse really cute on pinterest i did not achieve it as cute as it was on pinterest i will tell you that was like a pinterest fail i don't even think people saw the crackers the crackers i was supposed to get were going to be those chessboard crackers that are like that big they're from pepperidge farms there's like a castle for the rook, a horse for the knight. I forget what else there is. Maybe like a crown for the king. Well, I scoured the state for these chessmen cookies and they changed them for the season. So they're springtime cookies and they're all flowers. So my wonderful friend, Julie, who came in from Chicago, she had this idea of like, let's use animal crackers. There's horses in the animal crackers. And so we had my kids like picking out the horses, but the horses were from the animal crackers were like this big and the chessmen cookies were supposed to be this big. So I don't know if the people saw the little horses in the dip because it was like French onion dip and ranch dip you know just different dips for the vegetables i don't know if anybody actually saw all the cute little work that we put into it to make it feel like kentucky derby but it's all good okay kentucky derby pie is chocolate chips pecans and a splash of bourbon mm, when i was younger we left at the bourbon so yeah there's a lot of like bourbon type desserts even the meat i did make meatballs but that was in the crock pot so that was super easy but i had made bourbon meatballs and even though supposedly if you have the bourbon inside the crock pot for three hours the alcohol burns off it smelled like bourbon <laughs> they were delicious but that's that's the thing like so many of the kentucky derby foods had this alcohol component which is super fun for adults but yeah when you're having a party that kids are invited to you gotta make some other options so we were able to have taco bar lots of apps some people brought some other things um blake made mint juleps and then oh what's this other drink that he made I forget, but it was delicious and it was pink. Some other kind of official fancy drink. Yeah, you still taste it, right? Okay, so you still taste it even when it burns off. All right, <laughs> it was very strong. I was like, these meatballs are delicious, but they're like two-year-olds eating them, so I hope that they're okay. Um, all right, I, here I was showing you this eyeshadow look. So here is the completed eyeshadow look. Once again, that stick eyeshadow is just, it's gleaming, and I just drew it all over my eyelid like I was a two-year-old kid, smudged it with my fingers. I used that, um, what's the official name? The Precision eyeliner it's a liquid precision eyeliner but it has like a marker tip you can find it at minutewithmary.com this month all of my eye stuff is 15 to 20 percent off um and i went on top and i just did a little little line but then i went underneath on that water line and it's not transferring any other like kind of dip and draw or marker typed eyeliner that I've used in the past, I would not recommend doing in your waterline, but this one's magical. <laughs> I'm a big fan. And then of course I did my eyelash primer uh, that helps condition and strengthen my lashes. Also adds a little extra grip. And then I wrapped it up with my twisted mascara. I just love this mascara. It's so easy to use the two different wands. You've got the big wand for the volume and then the itty bitty baby one to get all those inner and outer corners or just like a nice feathery look. Another cool thing that you can do is you can actually turn your wand different ways. If you're missing a couple spots in your lashes, you can actually, you don't have to hold it the way that you always see people wearing it. You can really play with it. And don't keep dunking your mascara wand in and out of the tube. You probably have more than enough product on the wand that you already have. Someone else told me to try it this way. And I was like, I've never done it from below. I don't know if I'm coordinated enough for that. Have you ever tried this holding your wand different ways? Some people are really fancy. I am uncoordinated. So I'm like, I will do the two ways that I know. I know how to do it like from the angle that I'm showing you right now and then also painting from above. But the, one of the cool things when you do it when it's kind of like painting way from above is you can really focus on the tips of your lashes. If you're trying to make your, your lashes look longer, rather than coating them over and over and over from the root to the tip, do that once or twice, but then just really focus on the tip. You can even go back and forth and that's going to deposit more product right there. If you keep putting loads and loads of mascara from the base to the tip, you may end up getting them too too oversaturated right down there at the base and that's when they might start to kind of clump together a little bit so if you're really looking for more length rather than volume focus on the tips of those lashes but if you're looking for volume go to town go to town tried but got all over my eyebrows see see i'm not alone we can be uncoordinated together <laughs> Thank you so much for the hello, lovely. All right, so as I said, I just wanted to come in and share with you this super, ow, super easy, as I hit myself, uncoordinated, right? Like, like that was on cue. Um, super easy eyeshadow look. 
These stick eyeshadows are a dream. They hold on for 24 hours. They are waterproof, sweat proof, hooded eye proof, really, really easy, but you have to blend them very quickly because they set. So don't like draw it on your eye, draw it on your other eye, go have a cup of coffee and then come back and blend. It will not work that way. You gotta draw it on your eye and blend it and then draw it on your other eye and blend it. And then you're gonna be super happy. They can also be used together. You can do different colors. You can use them in conjunction with your traditional pressed eyeshadows or liquid eyeshadows. They're just, they, they pack a punch. They have like such great pigment to them and they're super easy. So I'm thinking that I might even keep one in my, um, in my car makeup bag in this same shade because sometimes in the summer, uh, you know, or just like if I'm out with the kids, we might decide to go out to a restaurant or go meet up with friends. And I love to have like the car touch up bag, but I don't want to have anything that can melt. Nope, because my car gets super hot in the summer and I don't want anything that's too awfully complicated. So things that I can use that I can blend with my fingers are really great. I think another thing that I'm going to do, well, I'm going to have to see if this would melt. My all-in-one color sticks. These are so great. This is the shade Peony Pink. Um, they can be used as a blush. For some people, it can be used as an eyeshadow. I haven't had the best luck with them because of my hooded eyes, but I'm gonna try them again. I'm gonna try it again. Uh, and you can put them on your lips. They kind of create a lip stain effect, but these are really beautiful. And these also last for 10 hours. So I'm gonna try it. I'll put it in my car. I'll see what happens. Ooh, that's a really pretty color. It's just like a nice pink color. Nice, like springtime pink. All right, I have to stop and let you go because I've got to go tackle some things on my to-do list. Thank you for hanging on out. I want to know what you did last weekend, if you got any fun plans going on this weekend, uh, what you're going to be doing for Mother's Day. Blake's going to be surprising me. It's just it's just a couple of two weeks of surprises for me. I really did luck out having my birthday where I did. It's like I get my birthday and then the week after it's Mother's Day and I just get to have two fun weeks, so <laughs> not too shabby. I hope you have a lovely day. Thanks so much for hanging out on this minute with Mary. If you have any questions or concerns with your makeup or your skincare or collagen, please just feel free to reach out to me and I'll talk.